Hi everybody, David's back here and you know what? After thinking about it and testing and making sure everybody got paid properly, I thought to myself, you know what? Why wait until Monday to do the next draw? Why not just get this thing moving, right? I know this everybody was excited to see the previous draw. <clears throat> so why not Hi just everybody, David's back here and oh. you know what? After what? thinking about it and <laughs> testing and making sure everybody got paid properly, I thought to myself I'm hearing myself. myself you I know what? I got rid of that stuff. Why wait until Monday? Oh, we can fix it like that. All right, so nothing goes perfectly, does it? All right, so I'm not going to go through all of the um, all of the sweepstakes stuff. What I'm going to do is give you guys a chance to let a few other people know that we're doing this event live here, and um, uh, so I'll give you guys time to share this and tell some other people what we're doing here. Week two draw. Um, I think there was a similar number of people in week two. There was week one. I will tell you that your odds are great at being in part of the team that is winning some money. So what I'm going to do while we're waiting here is I'm just going to quickly pop over and take a look at uh, how many people we've got coming in here. Close a few things up, and somewhere here we have we have that echo coming. So I'm going to try and find that. Let's see if I can find where that came from. Let's see. Oh, maybe it was from Chrome. Ah, yes, that's where exactly where it was coming from. Well, at least I know it's working. Uh, we'll close that up. All right. Now, Facebook. All right, guys. Well, it's good to know that everything works properly. We've got everything on track now. And um, I'm, certainly, I'm certainly relieved in a way, to tell you the truth, that we've got this working. I know you guys are too, but uh, it's been a lot of stress for me to get all this working accurately and, and going through all of this. Um, and, uh, and here we are doing draw two. Let's have a quick look here. Give everybody a few more minutes, three minutes past the hour. Give everyone a few more minutes to get on here so that uh, more people can watch the second draw live. I was talking to one of my American leaders just a short while ago and uh, he, um, he was excited to hear that we've got things moving. Um, I think we'll be seeing the Americans crawl up the leaderboard here pretty soon. They've been waiting for me to get back and uh, to learn a bit more about what we're doing and um, uh, to talk to me about some payment solutions for them. Um, while, while we are waiting, I'm going to talk about one thing for um, South, South Africa. I was about to say South America. It shows you how tired I am. For, <laughs> for South Africa, SagePay. I know I was talking about it the three weeks I was over there and... Um, it's important to recognize that some of these things take a while, um, and I'll tell you why. I got a chance to meet with one of the directors from SagePay when I was in Cape Town, and had a great meeting with them. And there's a certain test cycle they would like to go through now. Um, my programming team have everything ready. Uh, it's just a matter of um, having the executives or one of the executives at SagePay go through a series of payment tests. So um, I believe that we'll start that on Monday. Um, and uh, hopefully they'll be satisfied with that. They're going to test uh, different modes of payment as well as a payout. Um, and I'll just give you a clue as to how the payouts are going to work. One of the things they pointed out to me is they wanted to make sure that everybody uh, provided accurate BSB or what do you call it, um, bank code information as well as account information. And so we're going to request that from you the first time when you're going to do a withdrawal request and then We'll, we'll actually contact SagePay, who will contact your bank to double check that the information is accurate and that will all come back in the blink of an eye and either go through, tell you it's successful or tell you it fails. If it fails, you must have something wrong in your account number or your branch code. It's just a way of reducing errors and frustration for, for members and for us and for SagePay. Okay? So once that's confirmed, that will be stored in our system so that, well, actually that won't a special code will be stored in our system so that we use the special code to contact SagePay in the future 
and to um, so that in following weeks, when you want to do a withdrawal request, you just simply go into the back office to go to withdraw, choose SagePay, and it'll already have your account information in there. Okay, so that'll be a wonderful system for South Africans. Once it's in there, it'll have the lowest fees. I'm sure there'll be some fee on there, but it'll be the lowest fees by far of any of the solutions we can provide you. Um, for everybody else, we've got iPayout. Oh, by the way, um, all of the uh, countries that are pegged one-to-one, -one, so um, uh, South Africa, obviously, and um, um, Namibia at the moment, uh, Namibia, of course, is for retail-only sales, right? Because we're not doing business in Namibia as a network marketing company anymore, retail only. And for people in other countries like Swazi, I believe, and um, uh, Lesotho, where it's all one-to-one, -one, uh, it's pegged, as they call it, we'll be able to push, uh, you'll be able to use SagePay as well, okay? For everybody else, I pay out wherever there's a difference in the exchange rate, um, where a foreign exchange transaction has to happen. Um, I pay out will be a solution. We'll be starting on that this next week. And um, I can't tell you how quickly we'll get that integrated, but it will be, um, now that we've got the we, um, sweepstakes working, it'll be our number one priority for um, for next week and the weeks ahead, right behind or in, in, in tandem to SagePay, okay? All right, so. I'm just going to just look at the numbers here, videos. I had to mute so that I wouldn't have too much noise going on. All right, guys. Oh yeah, okay. Nigeria, yes. We don't. We're not. Don't give up on me. Um, I need to really have a lot of focus to get Nigeria a solution in place. I have some contacts that claim they can do that for me. Two different contacts, so I think we'll see some good solutions for Nigeria in the future. Um, so thanks for the question, appreciate that. All right, well, without any further ado, we've got less people here than we had before, but that's okay because, you know, it's very short notice and um, I know it's a little later in the evening on Saturday night in Africa and, uh, and uh, it's very short notice for anybody in the US, that's for sure, because they'll be out doing things on a Saturday. So let's get on with it. I'm going to switch over to I'm going to jump out of Facebook just to speed things up a bit. All right, so let's go over to the sweepstakes and let's get this second draw going on, shall we? All right, for those of you that were with us before, this will look familiar. Now, I'm only doing the second draw. The third draw I'm going to do on Monday because I bet you a whole bunch of people think that we're done for the uh, for today. Um, and to be honest with you, I thought, well, while I'm all dressed up nicely today, and I know that everything works properly, let's, let's do a second one. So, all right, so here we go. We're all set up on week two. So let's go find our winner. All right, so Kangora77 uh, is, the, is the person that triggers the winning team. Let's see who this is. Oh, we've got another small one. I, that's unbelievable. All these people who weren't participating in week two. That's a shame. So we got Kangora 77. They've won $2,400. Congratulations. Uh, we're very excited for you. I'm going to assume this is somebody in Africa somewhere. Um, so that's exciting. You'll be able to do a withdrawal request on um, today, tomorrow. Tomorrow, you'll be able to do a withdrawal request on this. And um, now we're going to take a quick look at how this all paid out. And uh, this is a different team. I don't remember uh, a lot of these people. I, re I recognize a few here, some from England and so on. So um, it looks like uh, this team here, these couple of guys, this one uh, missed out. So this was, uh, well, actually, I'm going to show you something I didn't show you before. You can click on here and view the details. This tells you far more accurately exactly what happened. So. This is our winner, $2,400. This is the person who is their sponsor. So they got a, a match. So uh, Kangora, uh, sorry, this uh, FCAG C, C, I guess that's one, two, or I two, C, I two. 
this person was enrolled in the um, sweepstakes. They were two levels up. So this is a, this is a, um, a, a, this is the sponsor, right? So that's why they got this. They were two levels up, and all the guys that missed out are all these people because they weren't in it. And that's uh, that's a real shame. These are all the people that uh, could have, would have, and perhaps should have won something. So congratulations. And um, let's pay the winners. All right, so that's week two completed. Make sure that you, uh, we're in week four, everybody, so make sure that you tell everybody that there's, there's loads of people missing out on this. Um, we've done two draws now today. Both of them less than $5,000 in payouts, and that's really quite surprising. I really figured we'd be paying a lot more out. So um, thank you, and thank you for taking some time. And, uh, you know, if you didn't win, I'm sorry. Um, we'll, we'll be back again on Monday. We'll do draw number three, okay? All right, thank you very much. Have a good night, everybody. Bye for now.